Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. So today I'm not going to sing or uh, play for you a song, but I want to read a song from here. It's short, from Maurice uh, Chapman, that is 1983, he wrote, Behold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Behold, be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. I'm not afraid, no, no, no. I am not dismayed, not me. Because I am walking in faith and victory. Come on and walk in faith and victory. For the Lord your God is with you. Him, number 11. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me. Let us pray. Thank you, God. Thank you, Heavenly King, because of this time, this day, we are going to learn about a list of things we can do. The kind, simple, cheap, priceless things that we can do to encourage ourselves and others. Because of this, I ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm still talking about ourselves. Welcome. Be subscriber of mine, of this channel. Okay. Uh -huh. I promise to give you a list of actions that you can do, which does not pay you much. You don't spend much or you don't spend your time. But within your life, as you move on, there are those things that you can do to encourage or to connect or to um, improve somebody's life. We start with a smile. Just a smile will encourage that person, that stranger, that uh, family member, those your children. Anywhere you are, smile is a magic. It was magic anytime or any place we are in. Talk to somebody. Listen to somebody. Just listening what they have to say. The other thing is compliments. Oh, Angeline, your head do is good. It uplifts me as it also uplifts you. That is science. This is all science. All we do will affect the other person, but will also affect you. When you compliment anybody, you're looking good, you are beautiful, you are bright, you are happy, you're energetic. Those are compliments. Okay? Write a thank you letter or say thank you. Write a, a thank you note. Those are priceless. We, we are talking of what it does not cost us money does not cause, get us out of your place. Write a thank you note for that person. Say a thank you for that stranger anywhere. Thank you does magic. Appreciate others. Oh, thank you for coming. Thank you for calling. Appreciation of what they have done. Thank you for coming to take care of the baby. Those really lift the spirit. We are looking of lifting up others and making them grow. These are things that will help others grow as you also grow. Okay? Visit a sick person. Call a sick person. Um, a, a sick child. Go to a children's home. Go to visit a neighbor. Call a neighbor. Text a neighbor. Today is 26th. People are opening boxes. And this is a very unique year we have had. We might not be having uh, Christmas presents to open or the boxes to open. Mm -hmm. To start with, I didn't have even a, a Christmas tree. Maybe because of my culture, we don't really have those Christmas trees. But with the city, yeah, 
the culture is coming that Christmas trees are being bought. Not the live ones in Kenya, the plastic ones, whether small, big, yeah. So even the boxes are not there. That's the original meaning. But for now, a box could be just thinking of what am I learning from Christmas? And how is my neighbors? Okay. The other thing is tip the waiters. You can tip somebody. You can give a gift. You can visit and give a gift of which you have not. By just visiting is also a present. Learn something. Opening a box is learning. What should I learn about being Chris, uh, of Christmas, of this year, of my life? What do you want to learn? Learning is not going to pay you. You can learn from several things. Learn about emotions, money, your life, your health, your relationships. Learn what do you need to work on, skills. Okay, learning is something that will, it's kind, you're kind to yourself. How can I correct the mistakes I've made throughout the year? Mm -hmm. Write them down. Can I forgive? Forgiving is something that is very priceless, but very hard to do. But when you do it, you get a lot of presence behind it. Peace of mind is first of all. Growth is the second. And a, a relationship. And you are reconnecting. So reconnecting is another. Pick litter. The things that we can do without price. Pick litter or dust or waste or uh, chafu. Uh, um, that around environment, clean that environment wherever you are, whether you are in the slums or in uh, high rises or in east, west, wherever you are, home, in town, clean your environment. That is priceless. You're cleaning it for many people, not just for you. Now, uh, donate things. Yes, donate things. I'm going to donate a few things today. It can be things, your time, your services. Assist the lost. Who is lost? There are those who will call for advice, call for guidance, call for just knowing that you are there assist help in the cleaning or help in organizing decluttering help somebody else when they ask arranging building um repairing things like uh, sewing i know i can do backstitch and sew clothes so repairing clothes i can do it of hand which is free yeah, I do the repairs for mine. I should help and volunteer to do repairs. Okay, repair things. There are those who are good at digital things, equipment, houses, pl being a plumber. But you are volunteering. You are helping. You are encouraging somebody. Okay. Give your seat in a place, in a place, in an aeroplane, in a bus, in a, in a wedding. Give your seat. That is a good thing. When you see somebody, a mother is struggling with children, can you give a hand? Whether it's in a bus or in a, a wedding or in a gathering, in a meeting, can you help? Now, slow down to see your surrounding your life can be very fast 
we are here, we are there, we are planning, eh, it is just us, us. I'm talking about ourselves. But you need to slow down. Slow down and smell the roses. What is going around you? Be aware of the present. Be aware of who is there. Is that person laughing or crying? Slow down. See the surrounding. Which trees are being, built, being grown around or cut down? Slow down. Who is the next driver next to you if you are a driver? Which car is next to you? Are they crying or laughing? Smiling, enjoying the life? Just a wave or saying hi can change their life. Plant a tree. Plant something on the pot or in your compound somewhere. These are things that we said we can do to improve your life. As you do them, it improves you and it improves others. Participate in charity, in walks, in Zoom, in uh, anything. Somebody is trying to start something. Are you going to be the audience? to encourage the person. Yeah, sometimes somebody can uh, organize maybe praise and worship around, and then you don't go to encourage the person. Encourage the person, even if it is general cleaning, charity, or praises, or uh, services going on around you. Now, there is also donating blood. In every country, they, they organize blood drives, they organize, or you can go to a hospital and donate. Children's hospitals, visiting them or donating blood is ever needed. Can you be able to donate blood or bring those who can donate blood? Yeah. Now, uh, become a volunteer in your church, in the charities around you, in the school, in daycare, in the family, just being a volunteer. We need those who can just for one day relieve that parent of all those children and take care of them. For them to relax, take a me time, a breather. You can do that. Yes. Now, help animals. In your area, in your place, wherever. Contribute used books. Maybe for primary, high school, college, wherever. Contribute books to the library or school to, or to families. Now, this is something that people don't really pay attention to, but books are very, it's needed. You can contribute to a school, to an orphanage, books that you have. Your children have used and they're still there in good condition. Contribute to books. Yes, we always contribute uh, food and uh, clothes. Let's pay attention of, on books we can contribute yes be a mentor a coach or a security for somebody there are orphans around there are those who need just somebody to coach them what to do next or with their life be a coach a coach that means you will be there for a call a call and anything they need even if they miss you you'll call back be a coach, be a foster uh, parent. In this country, we need to I encourage people to do that. We don't need to be having resources being wasted, but we have those who are homeless out there, the orphanages, uh, orphanages without food, but food is being thrown around. We need parents who can just be there you don't need to have um, a very expensive house or a big house to be a parent. Yes. 
Okay, be on time and present to the family and friends. We just need those who can be there for us. For the family and friends, be a support system to anybody. Doesn't mean it's just money. Money can be given. But being there to listen, to be on time, to be on call is important. Attend events. We have talked about charity and everything, cleaning. You be there. Reconnect to friends. Do chores around you. It's a skill that we said. Uh, the 10 must skills. They're doing chores and cleaning and being yourself, picking after yourself is something very important. It encourages anybody around you. You don't want to be the person that everybody say, ah, Angeline is coming here. She will need us to take care of her hand and foot. You've heard that statement. Hand, of, hand and foot, that means you are the hand to go and bring water, bring the food, remove this food, clean everything, clean after them, bring iron. Everything is to be done for this person. My question is, what is this person doing for themselves? Yeah, you need to do something. You can take your shower, you can dress yourself, you can iron for yourself, you can, you can pack for yourself. Uh -huh. And make amends. Forgive me. Forgiving others is important as just making amends. Being able to be in the present of the person without fearing or feeling down. Just living yourself, your life because you know they are not a threat to you. Because you are not taking any revenge. You are okay. Even if you hear their name, or you be with there, you will not change because you have forgiven and okay. It is hard. All these things take time. There are processes. Even to volunteer, you need to have time to think over it and be there. And keeping time is the time management skill. You have to plan, arrange call and be there volunteer one hour two hours three hours once a week once a month you can do it do your me time pedicure manicure games in at home with neighbors or with your children just being there and doing this with children or games there are so many games Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember to be honest. Honesty is saying the truth when you need to say the truth. Whether it is bad or good, just say it. It will set you free. Thank you. God bless.